Want to take your video editing skills from beginner to pro? These 18 tips and techniques can help you become a great and faster video editor. Becoming a great and faster video editor isn't easy, but with practice and patience you'll be editing like a pro in no time. Today I am going to show you the most important tips and techniques you need to know to become a professional video editor. Number 18 is Beauty Effects. If you want us to look beautiful in our video and make your video three times better, today I will tell you about the effects that are present in Filmora, you can use it in any of your projects. Go to Effects and then search here BEAUT. Here you will see both of these beauty effects drag this effect and apply on video. Double click on the video if you want to increase or decrease this effect. Open the video effects box. From here you can adjust the alpha. The second is the beauty effect which is so great effect will bring beauty and ugly video. Double click to download the effect. Drag the effect and apply on video then double click on the video and open the beauty effect tab I would suggest you to use it at a lower level so that the videos look natural and don't look bad. Click on OK. Now you can see the difference in the video. The video looks more beautiful than before. Number 17 is Audio Keyframes. Add audio to the timeline. Then double click the audio clip to open the audio control panel and click the keyframe button. For example, I put a lot of keyframes. Now I want to move the audio up and down. Learning these keyframes is a must have for any video editor. Listen now. So you hear that where the dot is down, the audio volume is down and where the dot is up, the audio volume is up. You must have come up with an idea and now you know where you can use it. And if you want to delete a keyframe, click on that dot. Click on the delete icon above. Deleted. Number 16 is Opacity. Often we don't know the opacity or we don't know how to use it and wonder how it will happen. So let me show you today. Place a video clip in the bottom track and a clip in the top track. Now only one track video can be seen. I want videos of both tracks to look lighter. All you have to do is double click on the video. You can see that the default opacity level is 100%. 100% opacity, default, means the contents of the layer are opaque. 0% opacity means completely transparent, the contents of the layer will be invisible, because they are totally transparent. Now you know what happens when video opacity decreases? Guess. Number 15 is Keyboard Shortcuts. Make it easy for yourself. How to set up shortcuts? Go to File. Keyboard Shortcuts to see a list of available shortcuts. Click on any shortcut to change it. You won't be able to change it to anything already in use. You can restore the default shortcuts at any time by clicking Restore Defaults. Here you can see that Ctrl plus S is given for Save Project. Let's see what will happen if I write Ctrl plus 1 instead. Click on OK. Add a file to the timeline for testing. Now I press Ctrl plus 1 from the keyboard to see what happens. Working. I'll show you from here. Go to File. Here, Ctrl plus 1 is written in the line of Save Project. So you can change any shortcut in the same way. Number 14 is Add to Favorite. Something you like or something you use a lot. And you want to make a special place for it. Make it easier and less time consuming, you need to add this item to the Add to Favorites tab. Whether it's sounds, transitions or effects, add them to your favorites and make it easier to find. For example, if I want to add this music to favorites, I click on the red heart emoji icon. You see, this music has been added to favorites. You can add more in the same way. Choose titles and add to favorites. Similarly, select transitions and add to favorites. 
Also choose effects and add to favorites and then easily find them in the favorites list. Elements, split screen and more. And if you want to remove something from the favorite list, click on this red heart emoji again and it will be removed from the favorite list. Number 13 is remember shortcuts. One of the major benefits of memorizing shortcuts is saving time. For example, I press Ctrl plus I with the help of shortcuts, an order will be executed faster and time will be saved. For example, usually when we save a project, we go to the file and click on save project. And when we remember the keyboard shortcut, we press sample Ctrl plus S and the file is saved. Similarly, there are many keyboard shortcuts that will make your editing much easier. And avoid wasting time. Number 12 is automatically shut down after work. Everyone wants our computer to shut down automatically after work. Similarly, there is a function in Filmora which is a very great function. Click on export. Then click the export button below. Here you will see three options. Sound reminder means that only one such sound will be played after the video is exported. Shutdown means that the computer will shut down after the video is exported. And do nothing means nothing will happen after the video is exported. So we want the computer to shut down automatically after the video is exported, so now we have to choose shutdown. When the full video is exported, the computer will shut down automatically. Number 11 is text styles and font. Today I will show you how to turn a simple text title into a great text style and font. Open titles. And add the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title. Enter a name for the title. I write photography. Select a nice style in the presets tab. Double click on a style to select a style. And then change the font. I chose the invention font. You can see how great it looks. Alright. Number 10 that I want to share with you is close gap. Add video to timeline. Now I split the video to make you understand and create a gap by splitting the video into a few parts. Usually we close the gap between some videos like this but this is the wrong and difficult way. Select the video clips between which you want to close the gap and right click the mouse. Click on close gap. Or select the video clips and press the shortcut from the keyboard. The shortcut is Alt plus delete. Number 9 is speed. Often when we need to change the speed so we go to the change speed tool and change the speed but it is also a long process. Take advantage of tips and tricks that most people don't know. You can hold the left click of the mouse while pressing the control button and increase or decrease the video speed. You can see the video speed has gone fast. If you want to slow down, drag the video to the right. The video has slowed down. And if you want to reset the speed level, it is normalized from here click on normal. Number 8 is blind and mute. Use blend mode and mute mode in your videos and learn its benefits today. If I click on the eye of the video layer above, this video will not appear on the display screen. You can see that the video of the second layer is displayed and the video of the top layer is not visible. And if you want to mute the sound or music, etc., click on mute here. And if you want to watch the video of the top layer, Check the blended mode of the top layer. Number 7 is Timeline Zoom. Sometimes our project has such small clips that it is very difficult to click or move to another place, so for this. 
Clicking on the plus sign above will zoom the timeline and the small clip will look bigger. And clicking the minus button will make the timeline look smaller. And clicking on this button will fit the timeline. Number 6 is Add Freeze Frame. You can show your favorite scene by freezing a video to let viewers know your idea easily. Right click on video and go to Add Freeze Frame. Click on Add Freeze Frame. From here you can increase or decrease the freeze frame duration. Or press Alt plus F to create another freeze frame. Number 5 is multiple image durations at once. Often we forget or we don't know that we set the duration for each image and a lot of time is wasted. But let me remind you. Select all images and click on the setting duration. Here you can increase or decrease the duration. You see, I changed the duration of all the images at once. Number 4 is display setting. Sometimes we need to zoom out or zoom the display level. You can use this feature. This is a great feature in Filmora. Clicking on this box with the mouse arrow will move the display. You can see something better by changing the level of the display from here. Number 3 is use of countdown. There are many types of counting clips. You can download with double click. Split it after each count. You can now add an image or video clip after each count, when you need it. Now all these images have been numbered. Number 2 is group and ungroup. After adding the timeline, I split it into three parts and group it separately. You can see, I group by different types. Like landscape and portrait etc. Number 1 is border effect. Usually we only apply the border effect but do not know its setting. Go to effects and apply the border effect to the video. Then double click on video. And open border settings and video effects. From here you can change the color of the border and adjust the size, blurring, opacity and direction of the border. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it make sure of course you subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications. See you again with a new video thank you.